So in this quick video, I'm going to show you guys how to be able to list your service or product on the marketplace. So whenever you enter the marketplace, you can easily just sign in first. First, you will have to sign in. If you if you haven't registered already, you want to make sure you go ahead and register. And we can go through the process. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the dashboard because you can hit add listing, but it's also on the on the dashboard, so I'm gonna get you the back end real quick. So whenever you do create a listing, you will be able to actually get your storefront set up. So whenever you have your store set front set up, you will have to scroll all the way down to the settings, which I will give you guys more detail about this on a whole nother video. But you can actually do your whole store setup from the settings. Because when you go to your store dashboard, it will say, um, tell you different things to do to complete your profile. And it's, it's literally all just in the settings. So let's say we go to ad listing. This page is going to be the same page as you would as, as the ad listing. So first I just want to give you guys a little bit of description on each package. So right now I'm with the unlimited, but so you have the free, you have the feature, and you have the unlimited. The unlimited allows you to have more listings and, and the feature allows you to have one. The free, um, you cannot book your listing. You do not have the video module. So those are two different things that if you're looking for, you will at least want to get the feature or you want to be able to get the unlimited. So with the feature, you only have seven days to be actually have a listing, but you also get a vendor shop. And the vendor shop, I want to make sure that you guys understand that the vendor shop is forever. As soon as you get your vendor shop, you can go to the settings and you can be able to set up your vendor shop. We accept your, your payment and then your vendor shop be enabled and like whenever you go become a feature or unlimited like the different aspects that you have like the be featured in the search results or having a verified seller tag we'll be able to do all of that on the back end so whenever you whenever you add your listing just choose whatever package that best fits for you and like i said just to make sure like feature is only for like one listing so if you have a listing, let's say if you have a service like, and um, no matter if you're like booking people to do hair or your counselor, something like that, and let's say you only want to use one listing, you can set up all, all the different things that you charge for that one listing, and you can have your store and everything on this one listing. Now, if you need multiple listings, you can be able to get unlimited. Now, obviously, if you're using Booksy, style sheet this is much cheaper so ten dollars a month is absolutely much cheaper than thirty dollars a month other than going with booksing so you can be able to book your listings you better get every single thing you need with just one listing and that's for right now so but because we have the unlimited listing let's go ahead and submit this listing now you can add a rent no matter if you got real estate you can add your different events, different classifieds, different service. Remember, unlimited is five different listings. For the feature, it's only one. And for the free, it's only one as well. But that's also only seven days. So I'm going to do service because we actually provide a service. So now when you scroll down to your location, you could put your Google Place ID in and it will add your Google reviews. But if you don't have a Google My Business, you could just add your address and everything will update. So with the gallery, you want to make sure that you at least have four pictures. If you have, if you do not have four, then those pictures are going to be at the bottom. If you want to have your pictures at the top, then you need to at least have four. 
So we're going to add some pictures to the gallery. So I'm just going to grab these for the moment. I'm going to add more. So with our details, we already actually have, I'm going to use the same one that we have on our Google Business. So you want to make sure you, uh, let's say with video. So let's say you're on YouTube. Uh, actually, I should have did this. This is the video that we want to use right here. So you do not have to get the embed. All you just got to do is just copy link. You can actually just keep, click on the video and then copy, copy the URL at the top. We're just going to use the share one. You can enable the contact form whenever you have your email. And you can add that, but for right now, we're just going to leave that un unchecked. Like I said, if you want people to contact you directly, and you could definitely just enable your contact widget. So let's do this. Okay, so if you have opening hours, you can um, actually put all of that down. Um, say opening time. Let's say from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And you can add more if you want to. But we pretty much are 24 hours, so I'm not gonna necessarily do this. I just wanna actually just show you guys. Cause you can add more, you can clear time. You can set your time zone. So on this part, you can add all your different services right here. So let's just see. So with us, people can do pretty much a lot of stuff. I'm just gonna add a couple for, for right now, just for this video purpose. I'm gonna add a, go more in detail later on. Just gonna copy this. I said I'm only going to do a couple just for this video sake purpose. Just a couple for right now. And I'm going to add them all. Give some description. So you can see how everything looks. Let's say if you want a book, you better do all of this. You can do all your slots, all your time slots, no matter um, if it's three hours long or hour long or however long. Since we don't actually do any bookings, um, we don't actually have to add that. But if you actually do bookings, you can better add all of this. Like if you're a beautician, you're a psychologist, uh, like a counselor. Like you can add all your bookings here, but since we don't have any bookings, we're gonna leave this unchecked and you can hit preview. You can check everything out, see your gallery, see everything that you have, your video. And so what we're going to do, we're going to submit this listing, and then we're going to go check it out and see what it looks like. See all your videos are at the top. See when you have four, all your videos will be up here at the top. All your pricing right here. 
And whenever you have a store and you add products to it, you can be able to add your products onto your listing. Now, how are we going to be able to do that? Let me go ahead and show you guys. So that's how you're going to create your first product. See, so we got to add our payment here. But when you add your store, you're able to put all your information in. Go ahead and set your direct to bank transfer, direct to PayPal. So as you see, you actually can't add any of the products because you do not have a package yet. And let me show you guys how, how to actually get a package. So, so what you want to do is you just want to go to subscription. And you can be able to choose from basic, corporate, and professional. So the Corporate allows for you to make 100% of the commission. The professional is 90% and the base is 80%. So we could just go through this process. We could buy now and you can be able to add your products. And then as I fill out this information, I'm gonna show you guys about adding all of that to your, let's kind of place this order. They see a lot of these are optional. You don't have to worry about that. Congratulations, your order has been received. You don't have to do it right now, but I'm gonna hit let's go. See, cause we had already put this information in. And you put your, your payment information in. We're gonna, I'm gonna skip this step just for right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the store dashboard. Let's go ahead and add a, a product. Okay. Yeah, let's just, just use this for the sake of our argument. You want to make sure you do your alt, alt text. This actual digital product, you better change it to digital product in here in a little bit. Um, just I'm just doing it just for this video sake. So after you finish with that, you could view your product. You can add much more description at the bottom as you can see. You can add it to snippet, and this is how it shows up on SEO. You can do focus keywords. Let's say if I want to add it to snippet. Probably does not require shipping. Okay, now let's go ahead and go back to my listing. Let's go to edit. And it will ask right here at the bottom, your story settings. So select one of your products and then you could be able to add everything on there.
And that's it, man. Be your listing. That's how easy it is to be able to add a listing.